Welcome back to beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas. Today we have a style of architecture that we rarely get to bring you, so stay tuned for this treasure. Like I told you, this one's a treat. We are bringing you a stick style Victorian era home today. This place is a monumental showpiece sitting on 2.1 acres of land in downtown Hot Springs. It is in the middle of nowhere, right in the middle of town. So come along on this tour with us and let us show you all of the splendid details that remain inside of this incredible 1875 masterpiece. We'd like to thank Factor for sponsoring this video and for the great food. This bustling holiday season, you might be looking for nutritious, flavorful meals to fuel you on jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, can help you eat well for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle while tackling all your holiday to-dos. Skip the stress of meal prepping over the holidays with Factor. We hate the rubbery chicken that you get in a lot of places. This tastes like we cooked it out on the grill ourselves. It is tender and delicious. Choose from 35 plus weekly, flavor-packed, fresh, never frozen meals that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences. All delivered right to your door and ready to eat in two minutes. 
Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code RESTORATION50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com or click the link below. Use code RESTORATION50 for your 50% off your first Factor box. One of the best things about a Victorian era home is the entryway. Always, because this is where you put the money to inspire and awe your guests as they came in the front door. So let's take a look at some of the elements that remain in this entry hall that make it so splendid. The staircase behind me, obviously, is the showpiece of this entryway. Full East Lake carving design, rising all the way up in an almost spiral fashion, absolutely exquisitely done with its original stain still on it. So unpainted for 150 years. We have original faux bois on one of these massive doors that leads into what I think would have been the informal parlor, the family parlor to start with, and that is the only door where that remains extant. It's absolutely exquisitely done, beautifully executed, and I can only imagine what this space would have looked like when all of the doorways retained their original faux bois finish. Over the front entry door, we have cut and etched glass just stunning and amazing to imagine that it has been there undamaged since this home was built. And then on all of the transoms, we have one of our favorite etched glass patterns, that snowflake pattern. We had it in Louise for all of you who've been here long enough to remember that glass was everywhere in our fair Louise. If you'll notice, one of the ways that we can kind of determine what was the formal parlor, what was the informal parlor, what was a public place, what was a private place in this home are the finishes. Sometimes they're very obvious, sometimes they're less obvious. We think this side of the house would have been the formal area to receive guests. Why? Because we have the transom, which would have kept these rooms cooler during the hottest part of the day, which would have been the time that guests would have been received. And we don't have transoms on this side. So when the family was utilizing these rooms in the evenings, we would have had less need to circulate that air. One of the absolutely marvelous things that this home retains that I have never seen in another home in the Southern United States is its radiant heating system. Now, for those of you who live up north, you know what a treasure that is. Those of us who live down south are not quite as familiar, but radiant heat is so much better. It's better for your uh, health. It's better for your air quality in the winter than central heat. So. That alone makes this house spectacular. Let's go into this formal parlor and see some of the incredible architectural details that remain. Well, here we are in what we think was the original formal parlor. I could be wrong because both of these rooms are absolutely spectacular, but let me give you a couple of the clues that indicate to me that it could have been the original formal parlor. First of all, this unbelievable box bay that we have right here at the front that shows the absolutely stunning views of Park Avenue right outside. You get gorgeous green space and then what would have been a main drive where everyone would have been promenading up and down. So you would have been able to see and be seen outside and you would have been able to see and be seen inside because of the size of this magnificent window. Behind me, we have one of two matching stick style slash Eastlake mantel pieces. Very rarely do we see formal parlors, formal and informal parlors that have matching mantles. But in this beautiful home, that's exactly what we have. You see the gorgeous incised carving that's so reminiscent of that popular Eastlake style. And then on this hearth, what a treasure. Again, something we don't see often here in this area of the United States, we have an encaustic tile hearth. This is a priceless piece. Of course, encaustic tile is very popular in the Northern United States, wildly popular in England, but we just don't see it here that often. I do wanna point out that in every single room and space of this home, the original picture rails have been removed from picture rail height and moved up to become the crown molding. So. If you're the next caretaker of this property, you could take those picture rails and move them right back down to picture rail height and make those function again. Let's go across the hall to the secondary parlor, possibly the informal parlor, and we'll take a look at some of the treasures in there.
You may have noticed it's Christmas time in the city. Right now it's almost Christmas of 2023. I don't know when you'll be watching this video, but do notice that this home has been beautifully decorated for Christmas. And as with so many of these homes, they are just the perfect setting for Christmas decor. Well, here we are in the opposite parlor. Now, like I said, I suspect the other was the formal and this was the informal, but in truth, who really knows? Because both of them are monumental and absolutely stunning. The other has the working transom, but this one is the one that has this monumental sized faux bois painted door. So, both spaces have really exquisite details on them. Here is the matching mantle from the one in the parlor next door. And this hearth has these beautiful glazed tiles, this time in an acorn and oak leaf pattern. Stunning, original radiators. And again, don't forget those original picture rails that have been moved up to become crown molding. Can we move down again? And in this room, we have two plaster ceiling medallions. Now, because of some ghost marks that I found on the floor, it's pretty apparent that originally this space and the space behind me where that wall comes in were two separate rooms. And at some point in time, that wall has been removed. It was either a wall or perhaps a colonnade that separated the two spaces. But now we have this one massive space that gives you an incredible formal parlor that makes a huge statement. All of our windows in this space are original with their wavy glass. And I don't know if you're like me, but there is nothing finer than the reflections that are made from that beautiful wavy glass. Now we're gonna go into the dining room. And that is a space where you're gonna see that trendy updates, makeovers have always been a thing. So let's go see that room. Dining room, you know, my favorite space. This one got a trendy makeover. But the trendy makeover was in about 1910. I can almost guarantee you. So there are elements of this room that would have been placed here in 1875 when the home was built. We still have a lot of our original entablatures and architraves, our corner blocks, our plinths. You'll see again the picture rail placed as the crown mold. That's very early. We have that gorgeous snowflake glass again in the transom. But this mantelpiece behind me is absolutely not of the era of the build of this house. This is about a 1910 mantelpiece. Same thing with the windows that we have in this box bay. We have 32 light French doors that enter into this room. Those are not of the original build period of this house. So this whole space got a very trendy update. I'm gonna say around 1910, but of course it's trendy update is now 110 years old in and of itself. Absolutely beautiful. I love to walk into these spaces and you can see this evolution, this progression where people were keeping up with trends, keeping up with the newest, the hottest, the latest styles, but those newest, hottest, latest styles now have history all their own and they breathe such life into a space like this.
little treasures everywhere. Little treasures everywhere. It's one of the things I love about these historic homes. Here we find something that would have been super common in a home of this period, and that is a sink in the bedroom. You see it very frequently. When plumbing came indoor for the first time, it was very common to put sinks in places that they could be seen and used very, very easily. I've actually seen them in hallways before, originally placed in a hallway, but here we have one in a bedroom space. Now, I don't know that this sink was originally here. There is a possibility that this sink actually originally came from a famous, famous hotel that still stands here in Hot Springs, but, this is an absolutely to die for marble surround with its original painted bowl and hardware. It is a treasure, fun little treasure to find up here on the second floor. I think there's another one. Let's see if we can find it. found it. This time it's in this exquisite pink granite. We see this a lot in this period on the tops of washstands. Um, a washstand is a piece of furniture, looks like a tiny dresser. You'll see them a lot with bedroom sets of this era and that's where you would have placed your bowl and your pitcher uh, and it would have been your washstand. It's what you would have used as your sink before indoor plumbing. So we see the utilization of that same material here in this setup with once again, it's incredible original brasses. So another treasure found. We hope you've enjoyed this peek inside this stick style treasure today. Now, we're gonna remind you again, as we always do, we are not real estate agents. We are not the real estate agent for this house or for any house you see on the channel. Therefore, we cannot guarantee it. We are not representing it. We can't answer your questions about how much it costs or how long it's been on the market or any of that information. If you want that information, you're gonna to need to reach out to the realtor who's listing the property. We've put his information in the Zillow description below and we encourage you to reach out to him with any further questions you might have. We so appreciate you spending some time with us today. We hope you've enjoyed this look at the natural state and at the spa city of hot springs give us a thumbs up share this video with a friend subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more historic architecture both architecture that's for sale and architecture that's being restored and we will hopefully see you next time on preservation travels with lane and kevin here at our restoration nation